Hello everyone, thank you for watching my YouTube video again. Um, this is the third video about social psychology. And then um, for this video, I'm going to explain to you um, just something is very common of being used in social psychology well, which is um, about schemas. Um, and then why we are going to, we have to use schemas in our daily life and then what is necessary to know about schemas. All right now, before we start the, uh, the video, so if you're not yet subscribed my channel, please do so. And then please share and like my videos. Um, um, and my channels. All right, so I'm um, schemas. So um, before we start understanding um, what is the meaning in terms of social psychology called schemas. So we have to know um, the information of our social world is actually very, very uh, uh, like overwhelming. So we just can't understand or elaborate every single piece of information because we don't have time. It's called uh, information overload. So that's why in order to make decision, in order to interpret our world, understand our world in a very, very timely way, we employ schemas always automatically without really understand uh, whether or not we don't care if, um, um, this is correct or incorrect. We actually, anyway, we just use schemas to understand the world. Okay, so that's why always people will feel you get a like, uh, mis interpreted by people and then we we love you to in, in, we misinterpret people because we don't have time we just spend no time all right okay so now um take a look of different type of schema in um in the social world okay we start from the first core person schema okay um um left hand side at the top of left 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 top okay person schemas um uh, person schema means um so we, we understand people in this way right um for example um this is a guy um, present himself as a teacher okay so this is a teacher and then at the same time you will tend to interpret the person in a certain way this is person schema for example you will think um, um, teacher by first um, knowledgeable right uh, behavior I, I, um, polite okay so um, this, this guy always uh, speak politely um, and then third, we will think the person perhaps is very kind because being a teacher, um, the person have to be kind. And then you will think of the um, this person perhaps pretty talkative because he, he, he have to speak a lot. And um, so this is more like a, a person schema. So there's a person, um, you, know, you understand a person, um, this is like, um, like a police, okay, policeman. And then you will think of the person of oh, strong, physically strong, like sportive, like um, extrovert. So this is something like some um, characteristics you tend to, to, to give the person. Okay, so this is like um, person schemas. All right, so at the second, we see like social schemas on the right hand side. Right top, you see social schemas. Um, social schema means we, we, we understand something um some um um attributes or some characteristics you will give to uh, some relationship with people okay so schema basically talking about some relationship with people um so if, for example when you are talking or having um, a meal with your girlfriend or a girl okay so uh, what you're supposed to do okay so from the screen you see like um you will be the one to pay the bills right so when you go um watch a movie with a girl so normally you are the one to 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 buy the tickets all right um so for example when you are having meals with your teachers and then you you tend to be the one always, huh? you, you, you pay the bills as well, and then you will speak politely, softly uh, with teachers and because you have to respect, right? Um, when you have a meal with your boss, uh, absolutely you will behave in a very different way than you have a meal with a subordinate, okay? So this is like um, social schemas. And, and sometimes when you have meals with uh, people from, like for example, uh, uh, other countries, you understand what they, they, they will prefer, they love to eat what they dislike, okay? So this is like social schemas, relation with people. All right, um, right hand side at the bottom, you see event schema. Event schema means you understand and while you are attending certain occasion, you know how to behave, what to avoid, what to do, what don't you have, you, you, you can't do. Okay, so for example, while you are attending a, a um, people birthday party, you understand you have to bring birthday gift, right? While attending a wedding ceremony, so if it's a Chinese style, Chinese style weddings or Western style wedding, you know how to dress the dress code. Okay, and then you know um, what kind of gift you have to bring. Okay, so it's a um, um, small kid's birthday 
or adult's birthday, teenager birthday, you understand. You you sometimes you have to behave in a um, different way. Um, of course, uh, when you are going to uh, someone uh, funeral, then you know um, how to dress and then what to speak and how to behave. This is all about events. Um, okay, so that's why if you become like a teacher, and then you know when uh, how how to dress, the dress code of being a teacher, you just will um, um, wear short and slippers, and then you go to the lecture theater. Even uh, of course, I I can cause this kind of case, but this is pretty weird, right? This is not really appropriate. All right, so finally, we understand self schema. Self self schema means your self understanding of yourself. You understand who you are. Okay. Um. What what preferences? What, what you like to do? What you hate to do? Uh. What your interests? How? Uh, what kind of thing you will scare? Um. And your personality. So this is about your self schemas. Um. Finally, I want to let you know schemas not necessarily the truth, not necessarily correct. Schema always incorrect. But anyway, because of information overload, information too overwhelming, so we have no choice but to employ schemas. So that's why later on, um, I will further elaborate in upcoming uh, videos. Um, because human being, we just don't have sufficient time for understanding every single uh, uh, pieces of information. That's why um, so people tend to interpret, people tend to perceive the information in a very, very tiny way by schema. So that's why we have to know, we have to avoid being misinterpreted people if you care people uh, per perception. All right, so later on we will further elaborate all different types of things uh, related to schemas. Okay, so this is the end of this video. See you next time. Bye.